Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I am Aaron of Alawa. Today I'm in the Grampian Mountains and I'm here to tell a wee story. The story of when the Scots met the Romans in the Battle of Mons Graupius. Stay tuned to see more. I want to paint a picture to you. Take yourself back 2,000 years ago. Where the land was as wild that you and I can only imagine. Where the, each glen, each valley, each little nook and cranny had a clan, had a family. And all of a sudden, your tribal life is threatened by this monster. This demon in arms, known as the Roman army. By the year 82 AD, the Romans had already started advancing through the land of Scotland. And the general Agricola, or Agricola, whatever you want to say, um, had made advancements all the way through the River Clyde, to the Firth of Forth, they had little settlements all the way along there in the central belt of Scotland. In the north, we had the wild tribes, the Caledoni, the Romans like to call them. It's referred to the dark forest that they lived in. You see, these tribal people causing a lot of deal for the Romans because their tactics and their warfare was very different and the landscape was so different for them to be able to handle. But eventually these tribal people who were all different, different people pulled together as they knew the threat of the Roman Empire. And there was a great king to do so. The great king was called Calgacus. See, Calgacus had been able to pull an army together. Oh, I slid down the hill. Been able to pull an army together to face the Romans. Now, the story that you're about to hear comes from one source. And it just so happens to be that that one source was the Roman general's son-in-law, Tacitus. He's a Roman historian. A Roman bullshit artist, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I, the story goes that on a hill probably not so different than this one behind us, Calgacus pulled an army together. An army of 30,000 Highland soldiers. The tribal people, the Picts, the 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 Caledonians, the who knows, the Druids, who knows who was there, came to fight the Roman army on top of a hill with their chariots and their tiny horses, because that's what we had, tiny horses. And the story goes that they exchanged some fires, and then as the Highlanders were nowhere near as well organised as the Roman Empire. Apparently the, the Highlanders charged too early. Calgacus sent his men out. And we don't know much about the battle, but apparently we lost 10,000 soldiers. And apparently the Romans lost 300. After the battle, when the 10,000 Highlanders were lost, the 20,000 apparently went back home. The Romans 
who were hardly scratched from the barrel, according to sources, retreated back down south, went back to the safe lands. Apparently the weather wasn't good, they couldn't do any more fighting because the, 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 the winter was coming. All the granaries from the local highlanders, from the Caledonians, they'd all been occupied by the Romans so the Caledonians would not be able to eat. And yet the sources tried to tell us that the Romans left. For about 50 years later they started building Hadrian's Wall. I don't buy the narrative. What else are they talking about, man? Load of nonsense. Load of nonsense. So guys, a wee short story today might be for some of you the first time you've heard of Calgacus or Mons Graupius. And I encourage any one of you to come to the Grampians to see these beautiful, beautiful hill range. It's a gorgeous place. So, yeah, if you enjoyed today's wee story, and you also don't buy the narrative of most of the history of Scotland. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a wee thumbs up. Share it with your mates. That'd be a banger. And till next time, cheerio the now. Bye.